Hey guys, Trevor Wilson on here. I don't know how well you guys can hear me because I have my uh, heater going, but um, Husky Update 3. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell what modifications I've done. Uh, from right, not even here, you can probably see a couple. Probably see that uh, wire going to the back. Wire you remounted the battery in the stock position. Wire, did the whole wiring up with a solenoid. And uh, it runs good. The amp meter does work, but I hooked it up backwards. So it was, yeah. And then uh, probably saw these two right here. They're my new headlights. They're also hooked up with the stock. And this bar right here is my new hood support or my uh, nose cone support because uh, it completely broke on me which it ain't going nowhere so this had to get bent that had to get mounted somewhere else and yes I do know the hood is not centered but oh well um, another thing that I did was I had to clean the carburetor so I did that and then I had remade this Inside of the actual piece, there's that metal piece of metal down in there. It makes a suction now with the uh, bolts around there, so now that's sealed. The thing is, I also redid the throttle to a uh, direct throttle, so I can have full throttle, which does work. Um, the eight meter is hooked up backwards, it was reading negative, but I bought a new one, as you guys saw in my last video. So I'm going to be hooking that up. Got the horn working. Uh, headlights. Oh, and taillights. They're both LED. Oh, what the? Hold on. Something ain't right here. I'll figure that out later. But anyway, they work. Kill switch. Uh, whatever. Yada, yada, yada. Tear fire up. So as you guys saw, that was working, but uh, yeah, I relocated the battery under the seat again. Because I'm gonna leave that space open under here open so I can do a handbrake with the uh, deck adjustment. I have another frame up back that I'll do that too. Um, I didn't put an air filter on my uh, snorkel here. This little end piece was the uh, like right here a seat would go on a bicycle. Well, I cut that and I cut this tube and then I uh, cinch cinched it in the in the uh, PV vacuum. Once I found out, this little air filter right here that you can buy at Ace or whatever has the same inner diameter here as the outer diameter here. But I also just super glued something on there so because of that hole. But uh, I don't know. Well, you get the idea. It sits there. And it actually does work because when I had it on the other day, the carburetor kept flooding itself out. And the reason I knew that I had a good seal is because I kept seeing gas on this bottom lip right here. So I knew that it, it works. Um, other than that, redid the wire and rebuilt the front end. I took the bumper off because I have to rebuild it. So why not? Rebuilt the Re uh, cleaned the carburetor, got it charging finally. Getting ready to put the snorkel back on, but I'm do messing with the throttle a little bit. Gonna be switching the amp meter to my new one. And I got tires for this, but they need tubes, so. And they're over at Smokey's Spot, so I'll get them whenever. Um, but this is the amp meter that I'm gonna be using. Because now. I had tested the motor before, idling it goes at 7 volts, so now I want it to go fully rev to 12 volts. It has a little LED light on the back so that it lights up at night, but that's a good thing. And here are the two terminals, so. There's that. And um, when I redid this wiring, so many switches. 
Here's the old light switch. Um, I didn't use my button because I figured out that the button on that still worked. Here's a new switch from that light kit I got. And here's another one that I bought. So, um, That's it for now until I find you guys more updates. But new headlights, new tail lights, it, it works. Except now I just got to figure out what's wrong with the headlights. But, uh, later.